Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Grace by Jeff Buckley. So we got some challenging stuff to play here. Uh, we are in drop D tuning, so make sure you take the low E string and tune it down a whole step to drop D. So we'll have that. All right, so now we'll start with this intro lick, uh, which is, I guess, probably the most challenging part of the song. It happens a couple of times. And it's going to sound like this. All right, so what's going on there? We're going to have a bar at the first fret across the top three strings. So the high E, the B, and the G. And then you're going to have the third fret on the D string. Play that with your uh, ring finger. So we have... So you pick a cross there, four, three, two, one, and then you're going to pull off three to one on the B string while still holding that bar. So you're going to use your pinky there at the third fret on the B, pull off to the first fret, then come over to the third of the G string and do that same lick three times, pulling off three to one. So I have this. So try to let all the notes continue to ring out after you play them. Now from there, we're going to pick a cross again from the fourth string. So, and now we're going to pull off, start starting with the pull off again on the B string, three to one. But this time, instead of going to the G string and playing the pull off three times there, you're going to go back to the high E string and do the pull off from the high E string then the B, then the G. So the second time through looks like this. All right, so all together. Then basically, the, you pick the D string again and slide up to the fifth fret and then start the exact same lick again. So all together. So pretty tricky. And then we're going to come and grab this power chord here of the low E string second fret. Now you want to grab it like this because you want the open strings to bump to ring. Really, you don't have to hit the high E string, but all the other strings. So the second fret on the low E, or it's a D string now, obviously, and then A string and the D, and then the open G and B. Now he does some little bar dives there, or uh, he might be using a Telecaster, so he might be doing some sort of neck bending, whatever. And then we have this uh, kind of lick, which is a lot happier sounding and a lot easier to play. Sounds like this. All right, so let's uh, talk about what's going on there. We're going to have a bar across the 14th fret on the D, G, and the B string. And then the low E, I'm um, sorry, the low D string now, and the open A. So strum all those five strings. And then hammer on the 15 on the B and the 16 on the D. So, and then back. So it. So, so after you do that, hammer on the third time. Then you're gonna grab the the seventeenth fret on the high E string, and then then the fifteenth fret on the high E string with just the fourteen on the B, and then then the seventeen on the B string with the fourteen on the G and then just the, uh, that bar. So we have this. So, with that little melody on top. And the fourth time, 
holding that chord without that little melody on top. All right, from there we get to the uh, verse, which has a couple different guitar parts going. One is just strumming the chords like I did at the beginning uh, uh, of the video, just. And there's another guitar part that goes with that that just just is picking across the strings like that. So that's just the pattern. Just down, down, down across the six, five, four, then up, up, up from three, four, five. So that's going with it. So you can choose which one you want to play. In any case, uh, the chords, I'll just show you the frets of the chords you're at. It's just two, then three, two, one. Hold that one, one a little longer, then back to three, two, one again. And then you're going to end it with just the second fret. So an easy way of looking at it is the second fret version of that power chord. And that bookends the two, three, two, ones in between it. So we have the two, and then three, two, one, three, two, one, and then two again. So, all right, from there we have the pre-chorus, which has some interesting chord voicings as well. It sounds like this. So what's going on there? So we start with that power chord at the second fret. And then we're gonna to come to this chord. Fourth fret on the D, second on the G, four on the B. You can let the high E string ring with it. So we have this. And then you're gonna move up to the fifth fret on the D. Um, fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B, with that high E string still. Then take that same chord shape and move it up two frets. So from here. All right, from there, we're gonna move up to the ninth fret on the D, seventh fret on the G, while the, the B and the high E string are ring open. Kind of continue that same concept down to the seventh fret on the D string and sixth on the G with the top two strings still ringing. So we have this. All right, then you come back down. And he goes back to that, that riff, this guitar chord. Starts over, strumming with a little hammer on from zero to two on the load. Then we start over, going back up. So when we get to this part, we're gonna add a note here on the B string. Instead of having those top two strings open, we're gonna add the 10th fret on the B along with the nine and seven that you did earlier. And then we move down to seven on the D, six on the G, and seven on the B. And then back down that power chord. So that whole part. From there we get to the chorus, which is pretty easy. It's just that power chord done three, two, one. Once again, you can do this with it if you want. So it's three, two, one. And again. with just the two. 
All right, so it goes back to the same parts that we've already covered. The only part that you'll see now that we haven't covered so far is the bridge section, which kind of combines that, has that pre-chorus really for the second half of it, uh, or the same notes. So let me just play through that real quick for you. Here we go. So it kind of stops there. So we're going to start here with this chord shape, which is a full bar at the first fret, and then the third fret there on the G. Okay, it makes up a 6 9 chord. So. So. So at the first fret, then move it up to the for one measure, then the third fret, then the fifth fret for two measures. down to the fourth fret now, same chord shape, uh, for one measure, and then three, two for each, for half a measure or two beats. And then back to that power chord, you kind of hammer into that power chord. So one more time through, one, three, five. Then just move this power chord just from two, five, seven, nine. Just has that quick little transition there. And then we, we go back to pretty much um, the pre-chorus riff, except we don't hold this chord so long. It's just jump right into the, chord, the ascending chorus. Right here, just hit it once. Then back to the chorus. The tenth fret one here, to the seventh, so let's change, and then again, let's just repeat the whole thing there. So you don't go through the second version when you go up to the, it's right there after that part. Obviously, if you know the song, it just goes back uh, from there. So we've pretty much covered all the parts. The outro section of the song really just combines the, um, the verse and the chorus. So it's just basically the verse riff. And then, and then the chorus riff. So it's, it's just all based around those power chords right there on three, two, and one. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.